It's been an exciting eight weeks in the Big Brother Niger house and back-to-back -back excitement, day in and day out. Hi guys, my name is Enyola Tito, reporting for Lori Supergirl, and I'm not here alone. I am joined at the Coffee Club in Lekki Phase 1, by the way, with the um, 11th housemate, if I'm not mistaken, to have been invited from the Big Brother Niger house, the man of the hour himself, <laughs> Gedoni. <laughs> Hi guys. Gedoni, how are you? I'm very well. Very okay, well. Good, good, good. It's good to see you. Um, we have a lot to talk about, suffice to say, but before we dive into it and your time in the Big Brother Niger house, the good people at DSTV, they gave us a box of hot sauces, pepper sauces, okay. to celebrate the pepper dem season. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to bring the box out and what you're going to do for me is you're going to close your eyes and pick out one of the sauces and you're going to use it to season your wings. Okay. Okay. Awesome. I'm ready. Cool, cool, cool. So, uh, here it is. So you close your eyes. Hmm. And then <laughs> eyes closed. Yeah, okay, so here we go. You can feel through. You have, I think, uh, 14 or 16 box um, sauces here. I hope the small one isn't the peppery uh, one. You know, what? the smaller ones tend to be uh, the, the hot spicy ones. ones eh? <laughs> yeah. I'll still stick with this. You go with that. Okay, yeah. please read the label and let's know what you picked. Oh, Tabasco pepper sauce. Tabasco pepper sauce. Awesome. Tabasco. Awesome. Sorry. Oh, Tabasco. Yeah. Okay. And seeing that it has been opened. Okay, it hasn't been opened, so has none of your... Previous uh, former housemates have picked this one. Mm. So I will open it for you and then you can season it. While I open it, Gedoni, please yeah. tell me, um, you've been out of the house now for a couple of days. Mm, what's two. two days, yeah. So what's it been like thus far? How's the public reception of you been? It's been um, an array of mixed feelings. Mixed I've, feelings, okay. I have had a lot of love. I've seen a lot of love shown to me. Okay. And uh, of course, they hate to. On and yeah, on the other side, mm. truthfully, I don't think I was really prepared for what I was coming out to get. But mm. then again, I need to brace self and, and just roll, and with, roll, roll with, with it mm. and um, correct uh, necessary impressions and um, stick with certain truths. Mm. So, mm. Mm. but how um, the, the process of getting into the Big Brother house, what was that like? You know, where did you audition? How did the process go? And then when you eventually got into the house, what mm. was the feeling like? When I eventually got to the house, it was like, man, mama, I made it. <laughs> that was that was what came in my head. Like, I did this. Where did you audition? Then? I auditioned in two places. Really? Yeah. The first time, the first audition was in Port Harcourt. Okay. And I didn't get in. I got uh, bounced. Uh, right. First stage, yeah. Okay. Then the next day, I went to Calabar. Because the day before the Port Harcourt um, auditions, I was uh, robbed. And I had a delivery. Really? To, yeah, I had a delivery to make the next day, which was Saturday. Or the very Friday, you know, the next day Saturday, but I couldn't make it because I didn't have a phone to communicate with the client I was going to get it. So I just used one stone to kill two birds. I went in there, I just picked my bag. Like, In fact, the only thing that was in the bag was the client's um, outfit. Wow. I just took it, I was like I was taking my chances. I carried my bag and went into the hall and... And did the audition in and Calabar. did the audition in Calabar. And that was where magic happened. Awesome. Or grace awesome. found me. So going in, did you have like a strategy? Going yeah, in? I had a strategy going in, and like um, so the kind of person that I am, I like to plan everything. Okay. So I, I went into the Big Brother Niger house, believing and hoping I was just going to lay low for a bit. Then, boom, show certain strat um, strengths and um, artistry or crafts and all mm. of those. But then I got in, I got in the house and um, man, Biggie, different ball game, Biggie. <laughs> Turned everything like it is just, it Biggie now or your fellow housemates? It was Biggie. It was, it was Biggie. Biggie. Really? And then again, um, I didn't. I think I underrated how much space that was. I was going to be giving up. Mm. Yeah, yeah. How much of personal space I was going to be giving up. So that was that also really affected me in the in the big in the house. Mm -hmm. The the fact that I had to share personal space with a lot of people for a very long time too. So what what was, what was uh, different? What jilted you? What what shook you? Because I mean you said biggie but what was it that and the space issue? Mm -hmm. But what else? What what was a serious adjustment for you in the house? By adjustment you mean to that you that you didn't see coming, that you didn't expect? Um one thing I didn't expect was um I like to say this, and I know a lot of people want to hear this. Was coffee? Okay. Yeah, I didn't see that coming. It was like a jolt of um, energy for me. Okay. And that was, I think, um, that was one person that understood um, my person. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. That's where I think I started um, coming up or started trying to pick up. 
Okay. From there, she kept encouraging. She kept trying to keep me, keep my head there. Like, the yeah, game. you can do this. You can stay. Just forget the, the encroachments. Just stay in the game. Be strong. And because you do the same for me, so I'll do the same. So. Okay, I wasn't going to bring up Kafiu. I was going to talk about that stuff, but since you brought it up, there is no Gedoni without Kafiu. <laughs> There's no Gedoni without Kafiu. Yeah. Huh? That's a tweet right there. <laughs> Gedoni, um, I'm sure you've, you've been online, you've seen the headlines from the past few weeks, and um, you guys have been in the news quite a bit. And people have been saying that you guys went all the way physically. I, because of mm -hmm. broadcasting uh, issues, I can't really say what I want to say, but I believe you understand what I mean. Mm -hmm. People believe that you guys went all the way in your relationship physically. Mm -hmm. What is the situation? What was going on under the duvet, under the covers? It was Kafi and I under the duvet. And uh, I've said in some interviews, I would like to answer this out of respect with Kafi. So that question would have to Pause. I'm not saying a yes, I'm not saying a no either. So I'm going to hold on. I have put out certain, somewhat, some interviews have come out already, and I, I've set up my stance. I found it, I found it um, um, rather disrespectful that I would talk about some of the situation that happened between us without her consent or without her presence. So. Well, I, I, I understand what you mean, but I mean, whether or not she's present, what happened is what happened. The truth yeah, is the truth. so and then it will be a case of what the viewers saw versus what we know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, there was a lot of stuff going on under the covers and it wasn't sleeping. That's, that's how much we know anyway. Yeah. But um, that, the whole cafe situation, a lot of people, especially at the beginning, felt like you were being rushed or pressured into it. Going into the house, you, you had a girlfriend. You had a relationship outside the house. I had, I had a girl I was really interested in but wasn't interested in me at that time. She just wanted my friendship because she had somebody else and thought the person was going to, or believed the person was going to um, take things further. So I'm sure at that time she didn't want to start anything new with me mm. and all those. She, she expressed that she um, liked my kind of person and stuff. And I should just go into the house and see what happens. And I said to her, like, I could go into the house and things would change. Change, yeah. Yeah, which is, uh, she said, yeah, okay, no wahala. So what's the situation so, with you and that young lady now? Um, I've, I'm in touch with her. I've tried to call her. We're just talking. Are you still interested in her the same way you were before the show? No. No. Things that have changed now. There's Kafi. <laughs> There's Kafi. Okay, okay. When Kafi comes out, I mean, clearly she's smitten and she's, she's really interested in you. Are you interested in taking things further once she's out of the house, whether One, she wins or not? 100. 100%. 100%. Okay, okay. Did you feel pressured into that relationship? Because Kathy really, and I can say this personally, mm. um, she really seemed like she was going after you. She was, you know, when you and her survived the first eviction, when Avala and Isilomo left, yeah, that's when they bond between two of you. Mm. And before then, there was the before bond. Then. Yeah, before then. Well, I mean, after that incident, the bond just grew and yeah. you guys were everywhere together. She mm. was following you around quite a bit. My question is to you right now is that, did you feel pressured into that relationship? Um, let me start by saying this. I don't think she was following me or pursuing me or for, um, to have a relationship with me. She was being her expressive self and she's very, very expressive as you all already know. Yeah. So. Um, and me, on the other hand, I'm not um, as expressive as she is, sir. Right. So it will come off as if she is doing more of the work. And I'm very certain that not everything we say and do mm. is being seen, seen by the audience or the viewers. Sure. So, um, yeah, I wasn't pressured. You weren't pressured. I wasn't pressured. In fact, I was surprised that, um, okay, we think they do your heart. Mm. Yeah. I was surprised when I started investing in emotions. I was okay. really surprised. And Kafi already is a sweet person. Yes, she's, yeah, a lovely, she's a lovely, she's a lovely personality. Lovely. You just spend a little time with her and she lights up the, uh, the room. She has vibrant energy. She has positive energy. Mm. She's very true. As uh, I don't need to say all of this, but man, anybody okay. around Kafi okay, would because, love Because I mean, there were, there were different um, questions. People just felt like it wasn't, you weren't bringing the same energy that she was bringing to the relationship. I mean, you are the kind of person you are. You're more reserved. She's more expressive. Yeah. But aside from that, a lot of people did feel like, you know, you weren't in it as much. And if it was that the doors of that house were open, a lot of people, some people felt that you may have run out of the house for fear of pressure. But I'll leave that for now. I'll also leave the fact that there are some things you said. Mm. For instance, uh, 
people, I didn't hear it personally, but people said that you said to some other housemates that, oh, that Kathy, uh is, she's addicted to certain things of uh, like physical affection and whatnot. Mm. I won't touch that. Uh, I'll let it go. But I'd, then, I'd like to touch that. Oh, please I did, feel free. I didn't say that and I know it is the Kiwi incident. And I, have not, yes. I, I hadn't had Kiwi before at the house and I still have not had Kiwi yeah, till now. Okay. Right. And so I know Cafe is not, does, just doesn't like the, 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 the test of smell. She's allergic to it. So why would I put her in harm's way by even attempting to want to have Kiwi? When a certain housemate came into the house, one of the new housemates, mm. he was very, um, his hands, he had his hands on very, a lot of things, blending stuff and all of this. Even when I was having a drink from one of those, I asked, is Kiwi in it? Mm. Yeah. That's how much That's I wanted certain. to, yes, I wanted to have coffee around me. Okay, all right. Um, let's move on now. Venita, mm. um, there seemed, a love triangle seemed to form when she came in. Um, sometimes, it, at the beginning, when she got in, as, it was as if she was making advances at you. Later on, you were the one going to go and look for her. It caused a bit of confusion, both within the house. Ibuka even asked you on Sunday, uh, what was going on with Venita? What was the situation? Mm, Venita and I... Um I've seen, I've gone through Venta's page, or I went through Venta's page before, before, getting, before getting into the house. I already knew the she lady, was. but I don't think she knew me. Right. And then we, she got into the house and we got talking and realized we had a mutual friend that we both respect very much. So there was that bond. Mm. And now Venta and I were, I don't, Venta, I don't think Venta came after me. I really do not think so. But now there was a misconception and misunderstanding, even in the house and between, and um, with Kathy too. Mm -hmm that she was coming for me because she said to Kafi, she said certain things to Kafi like, your, your man is cool and I'd like to share. I'd like to share. Yeah. She said that to Kafi and I didn't know. So I just noticed the whole defensive thing with Kafi and Kafi trying to come up. I was like, this girl hasn't been like this since. What's up? So I, I asked, her to, asked to talk with her and she was like, yeah, she was even coming to talk with me already. So, so I was like, what is happening? So like, um, she's not comfortable with me and Benita and um, the whole relationship. So like, no, Benita is my friend, blah, blah, blah. We did the whole talk. And then that very night, Benita, Kafi and I had a discussion in the wardrobe. So that, all three of us talked and Kafi was very excited. She was like, wow, wow, nice. So later on, I, I went, to, went, into, went into the room and she said, she still believes Kafi and um, Benita is... Attracted to you? No, yeah, she still believes Venta is on a mission mm. from Biggie. And so I was like, wow, well, if you think so, I haven't seen it that way because she started telling me things, telling me things. So I haven't seen it that way. Because so like she's also after EK and Mercy's um, relationship. relationship. Right. I was like, if that is the case, then Mercy is handling it better than you are. So she said, mm -mm, that um, um, I think, um, what's her name? Mercy warned Venta. I was like, eh, okay, so, yes, okay, see so what we'll do now. So I don't want, since you won't want Venta to stay off, let's play the game. Really? This is what Kafi said? That was me saying this. So, okay, saying right. it to Kafi. I was like, okay, let's play the game. If you think and believe this is, let's find out for a fact that this is actually a secret mission from Biggie, from, Biggie, from Venta. So, in the end, from my own findings, it wasn't a secret mission. And Venta, till now, I don't think she was um, attracted to me. Were you attracted to her? No. She's a beautiful girl. She is. Very beautiful girl, but her eyes on cafe. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. The, on Sunday, when Ibuka called your name and said you have, you've been evicted from the Big Brother house, you rejoiced. I rejoiced that yeah. was probably a first for many people. Yeah. What it, was that about? What were you rejoicing about? It this? was about mental space. Mm. Yeah. I have no, I, like I said I mean, in the beginning, I had not been in that kind of space for that long mm. with so many people. people. I'm one person that would just do what I need to do in the open or in the crowd or outside there and come right, right back to the solace of my um, house and, or my space mm. and just be me, my music, my phone or something. So being out there with the lights always on you, mm. the um, people around the characters, you, characters, exactly, the characters, the noise, it was in my head. It was really in my head. So. And at that, but at that point, I didn't tell Kafi anymore that I was um, tired of this thing. But before now, I had expressed it to her. 
and she would just try to cheer me on. In fact, she was actually my breath of fresh air then. Mm. She was the one that would put me down, like, okay, calm down, you can do this. I, I, I'm curious. I mean, this is that's the nature of Big Brother, you know, the attention, the lights, the, the stress, yeah. the, the pressure. Mm. So, I mean, and you, you knew this going in. You underrated. it. Mm. As much as you think you know now, Multiplies you still, by... Yes, by a lot. Mm. I won't tell you the number of times you multiply, but as much as you think you know, multiply it by a lot. Right. Right. Yes. Interesting. Um, there are lots of activities in the house. There was a fashion activity. There was the um, the inauguration. Oh, not yeah, the, inauguration, the, the coronation. The coronation of the team. Where you were the MC. Yeah. You know, there are so many things. Let me not put words in your mouth. <laughs> Which activity or task or challenge was your favorite? The MC. The MC thing, yeah. for the uh, yeah for coronation. the coronation. It was my favorite because it was something I had not done before. Okay. I'm your regular backstage guy. Yeah. Like I like to make things happen behind the camera and stuff. Mm -hmm. But then again, I was put in front. I was like, okay, I'm going to take this challenge. Okay. And you made me realize I could do certain things. I could take on different terrains, mm -hmm. where sides, fashion, and all of those. Mm -hmm. Because now, when um, the fashion um, task came up, that's the just, Oppo mobile. Yeah, the one. Oppo mobile. I just thought about it. I was like, ah, what is going to happen there? In my head, I had creative members in my team right. like see what you do see what you do well, let's get it let's get it together i'll cut the pieces and we'll piece it on together okay. let's just i want all hands on deck okay. i know a lot of you are looking at me but whatever style whatever design it is i'm going to cut it to shape and show you how to piece them together and um i got so kind we had esther on our team that is mm -hmm. very good with the machine and mm -hmm. her seams are really straight so she was I was doing the cutting, she was doing the piecing. Joe was on my team, wonderful artist. Mm -hmm. He just put colors to everything. So yeah. in the end, we were very, we didn't finish um, what we had. In fact, we didn't even do what we had in, our, in okay. uh, on paper. Yeah. Okay. We just went with certain things because now there was one outfit we made for Diane. Right. And then in the end, we, had, we tried it on and it was perfect. But the whole 10 minutes, five minutes, the countdown just put this certain rush in our, in our heads. and. We couldn't get to put things together. Okay. And even on the runway, on the ramp, we didn't spend as much time to show our work as much as possible. So um, Joe couldn't take enough or good pictures. Mm. So that's what that's what it was. Um, it was a good one, but the the emceeing one was the what one I really think? loved. I really liked it. Awesome. Mm -hmm. It's funny you should mention the fashion thing because my next question was like, what's next for you? I mean, your numbers have grown substantially on Instagram and on social media generally. Uh, I don't know what you, what number. Do you have any f idea what figure you're on now on Instagram in terms of followers? Yeah, one one hundred and thirty four k. When you went in, how many followers? One point one thousand four hundred. Wow, <laughs> see growth. Yeah. So what's next? Quantum for, leap. I'm telling you, what's mm. next for Gedoni? What what um, are you going to still? I'm, I'm glad I said something before I went into the house, so I'm just going to keep on that and. Uh, for now, which is the fashion brand, right. and I'm buying one this of my a, pieces now. It's fantastic. Yeah, so, um, I'll try and do a lot of things. I put out a collection there and see what ramp you can hit this year, or any good, any big show in Nigeria, South Africa, anywhere. And okay. yeah, and then I have a t-shirt collection too. I, I I came up with that before I went into the house. All right. And I just put out a small test run. It was successful. So now and I'll I'll turn out um, some more, and then of course try the whole. Um, Entertainment, thing. yeah, the exactly. I like to do some voiceovers mm. for some and anything. Just, Are you going to move to Lagos or are you staying in Port Harcourt? I'm moving to Lagos, by course. Yeah. <laughs> I'm moving to Lagos. There's so much heat here, but then mm. I will, I will, I'll face it. One I, big brother was one of my biggest fears coming on camera and being on camera. Is, the fear I really, I and didn't like, conquer yeah, it. I, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you have, I mean, eight weeks amen, amen. with everything that you've I gone through. Yeah, I don't think I you see anything else Nothing, going I'm forward. Not, I'm, not sure. I'm not sure. And then the funny thing is, the game isn't even in the house, but outside the house. Mm. Mm. Well, yes, I see what you mean. <laughs> it's another game. Exactly, outside the another house. ball game. Another ball game you know? entirely. Like you just boof, mm. you just pop out to so much light. If you could do really quickly, because we are fast running out of time, if, okay, you could do, if you could do it all over, what would you do differently, Gedoni? If I could do it all over, I would show, I'd probably show Kafi more affection. More affection? And more attention, yes. Yeah, and um, stay strong, um, try as much as possible to ignore those people that were in my space. <laughs> Uh, and win more games, even though it, it, that was due to certain things mm. I cannot really discuss, because I had to slow down on certain things as for the games. But I tried as much as possible to always be top five yeah. on the numbers. Mm. Anytime it was um, the arena games, even if I was not making top, 
first, second, third, fourth, fifth. That was the number for me. I could have done better, yeah. but I had certain restrictions. So. That's fine. Final yeah. question, Gedoni. Who do you think will win and who do you want to win? Those are two different questions. I want Kaffee to win. You want Kaffee to win. Who do you yeah. think will win? And then thinking now, I have um, three people on my list. Okay. Um, Kaffee, <laughs> Mike, Mike, Mercy. Mercy. Interesting. That's a, an interesting combination. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so Gedoni, I'm going to ask you about your fellow housemates, past and present. Okay. Well, for this season, anyway. Yeah. I want you to describe each of them with just one word, maximum two. Okay. okay are maximum. You ready? Wow. A phrase. Some of them are. <laughs> <laughs> some are enigmas. So you, need to, you need to do. That would be the word for them, an enigma. Oh, good. Okay. It's up okay. to you. It's up to you. All right, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Number one, she. Intelligent. Intelligent. Isi Lomo. Resilient. Resilient. Mercy. Go getter. Go getter. Ike. Go getter. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Go getter. Yeah. Okay. Eyes on the prize. Eyes on the prize all the time. <laughs> Esther. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Nelson. Mm. Nelson. Yeah. I'm actually trying to remember moments that you and Nelson shared in the house, but I can't think of No, it. I don't think we really had moments together, even though I believed we should have, yeah. because we, met, we met at the auditions. All right. Yeah, we met at the auditions. And you're both, into, you're both in the fashion industry. Yeah, he's a model, mm -hmm. and uh, we, we met a couple of times. We we're supposed to be friends, actually, but we didn't have that time in the so house. one word for, for Nelson? One word for Nelson. Um, caring. I think he's, caring. He's very caring. Okay. Yeah. Or Mashola. Um, <laughs> oh, uh, oh, mashallah. No dull moments. No dull moments. Yeah. Okay, I'll take that. Kimopra. Hmm. An enigma. An enigma. <laughs> yeah. um, time will permit. Kimopra but was no. here and she did say you guys were once an item way yeah. back when. Yeah. But like I said, time won't permit me to touch that. I'm sure you're happy about that. No, I'm not. I can answer anything. I'm not hiding anything. Yeah. Okay. People did say, even in the house and outside house, that you cried when she left. Yeah. Why? Okay. I'm, I, had, I was going to be the only housemate to be evicted. And because of the 10 coins she gave to me, mm -hmm. I was given a fair chance to fight and stay back. And stay back. Yeah. Because of the coins. Just because of that coin. So that kindness, that act of kindness touched me. Okay. And that's and why she you, you shed a few tears. Okay. Do you have feelings there in the future for you and Kimo Proud? It seems like a redundant question. That's that's that, that ship has sailed like years ago. <laughs> uh, Jeff. Politician. Politician. <laughs> Diplomatic would be the word. Okay. Right. Avala. Avala. I wish I had a better word for shy. Mm. Yeah. I wish I had a better word for Shai. Okay. Um, Toyo. Very interesting character. <laughs> Very interesting. Very interesting. He's, I, I would like to say he's a good guy. Mm. He is. I just was starting to get to know him. And, Before he left. And he left. He was, he's a good guy. Okay. A good guy. Thelma. Dancer. <laughs> Fraud. Mm. <laughs> You've been playing it safe thus far. It's time to, yeah, to fraud, fraud, <laughs> scatter fraud, everywhere. Fraud of my guy. <laughs> fraud of my guy, sure. <laughs> fraud of my guy, yeah. Any time I need it, like, uh, fraud, fraud, fraud. Misunderstood, control freak. Yeah, he's a con I think he's a control freak. He's, um, he's always very defensive. Mm. He always likes to, he has a certain way he wants to be perceived. Mm. And so whenever that doesn't come through, he... He's on the defensive. Yeah, he's on the defensive. Okay, okay. Well, Kathy. <laughs> Graciously beautiful. Big <laughs> love. <laughs> Tacha. Hmm. Feisty. Feisty. I was surprised that Tacha, well, you two, both of you are from Port Harcourt. Mm. I mean, she was, she felt some type of way when you left. She walked you to the door and whatnot. So, yeah, yeah I was surprised to see. I didn't really yeah. see you guys bonding, but maybe I just missed it. We didn't need to. Mm. Maybe we had our connect. The Port Harcourt connection. Yeah. Jackie. Intelligent. Intelligent. Mm. Okay. Diane. Slow poison. Sorry? <laughs> let me, slow poison. Slow let me poison. use that, let me use that okay. phrase. For lack of um, words better to put term. out, better terms, yeah. She's 
not yours. She's not what you would um, easily find out. But she's under the water and under the radar rather and will hit you when she needs to. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Not in a bad, bad way. way. I get you. No, not in a bad way. Mm. She's just she's she's another personality to look out for. Okay. Mike. Life of the party. Life of the party. <laughs> Sir D. Smart. Smart. Okay. Um Ella. Mm. Ella. Mm -hmm. Did I even really get it? <laughs> uh, Ella she, was she uh, the understood. most misunderstood. Misunderstood. Yeah, the okay. most misunderstood. Okay. Uh, by the way, if there's any housemate that you don't have a word for, you can say pass. Okay. But great, we're great. already far gone anyway. Mm. Joe. Creative. Creative. Elozonam. Pass. No word for him. <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh, he's also one of those ones that. I don't think that's true or real. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but then again, I might be wrong. Okay. Might be. Might okay. be. That's your personal feeling. Yeah. It's allowed. Yeah. Venita. A friend. Hmm? A friend. A friend. Okay. NK. Another tailor. Yeah. <laughs> NK. I think you have, I didn't really have like serious. No, pass. Pass. Cindy. Uh, the <laughs> unassuming one, the the one that doesn't come across as a threat, but is a threat. But is a threat. Yeah. You don't really. You don't see her. See she her just. She just that she's there. I'm telling you, she just comes <laughs> up and boom. Ah, where did you come from? Come from. <laughs> that's that's Cindy for you. Okay. So. Cool, cool, cool. Gerony, thanks so much for you know being here and for being on the Big Brother show. It's been interesting. You made both your time and Kathy's time very interesting, and incidentally. Your times in the Big Brother house, both yours and hers, were largely characterized by each other, if you get what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah so it, it just made it interesting, and it's been a very interesting talking point for everyone. Long story short, thanks so much, Gedoni. We wish you all the best for the future. Thank and you. please, what, what are your handles? Let's so that people uh, on Instagram, I'm at Gedoni, and on Twitter, I'm official, um, at official Gedoni, Gedoni official, sorry, Gedoni official. and then Facebook, Gedoni Epata. Cool. If you want to catch the Big Brother action 24-7, you can do so by following or sorry by watching DSTV channel 198 and Go TV channel 29. For all the breaking news, the gossip, everything as it happens though, Olori Supergirl is the place to be. You can find us on our website, which is ww.olorispargirl.com and on social media. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Gedoni. Thank you. See you guys in the next one. Peace. Ciao.